The new episode of China Rush will be aired in about 13 minutes. But before we look back into the exciting Taiyang leg in the first half of the season, here's the previous stage when contestants were still in the Beijing pit stop. And again, we're going to show you how amazing it feels to be the winner of a single leg. It is the Hilton winner's time. Doubletree Hilton provided fantastic French cuisine and an excellent barbecue for the previous leg winners. So what is it this time? It stands to reason that traditional Chinese cuisine is chosen since we were now in Beijing. Rick and Josh became the guests at the table again. What's their secret of being ever victorious? I think it just comes down to, to a bit of luck. We've had good taxi drivers and、uh, we've had the right people show up in our path at the right time who were able to give us directions and advice and, and help us along the way. Oh boy, just another fine feast. Well deserved. Cheers. Congratulations on、uh, running a good race. Oh yeah. What have we got here? Mature orange. Meet you. Hmm, deliciousness. Oh, that's fantastic. What's this over here? Hmm.、Yeah. Try that. It's fantastic. The chef expertly prepared pancakes for our winners, but while they enjoyed the meal, they couldn't resist making some jokes about it. Maybe their sense of humor is their key to success. Ah, Roadblock. <laughs> eat, <laughs> eat that pancake without making a faux pas. <laughs> Cheers, Rick. Mmm, it's good. The Beijing leg roadblock was a mouth-watering event. All of them had to slice the legendary roast duck, but there was no tasting it. You're going to show him how to cut it now that you've learned from the best. Now here comes the biggest surprise for Rick and Josh. This time they can really savor the famous Peking duck. Da, 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 da. Although DoubleTree cooks the duck in a slightly different way, Rick and Josh were amply compensated with their well-deserved meal. All right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Who's the ass? Yeah. It's a duck king right、mm. here. Now here's a recap of the last episode in time, together with a short review of the first half of the season. I know a lot of viewers enjoy predicting the end result. I hope this review can give you the big picture of all the teams and the race up to now. Six weeks ago, ten teams started out from the Shanghai Expo site on their amazing trip around China. So far, they've reached the halfway mark. Travel by taxi to Yangzhou. Make your way to Guiyuan. With outstanding performances, Rick and Josh, together with Charlie and Rachel, are close competitors and took turns to be race champions. How much of their secret strategy can they share with us? I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear anymore. We started getting really competitive in the legs before, and then before this one, we decided that we wanted to be have a bit more fun, like we did the first time. We we, we started racing. Yeah.、Uh, I think it just comes down to to a bit of luck and to having challenges which suit you. And fortunately, a couple of the challenges、uh, in this race really suited us.、Oh, no, no, no. Apart from these two teams, the newly dating Amy and Sean have drawn a lot of viewer attention too. Amy's fiercely competitive streak with the game and the other contestants really spiced up the drama. Very competitive. Extremely, extremely competitive. Like it gets a little scary sometimes. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. On the other side, the ultra marathoners Sarah and Molly continue to grow stronger as the race progresses. And we wanted to start thinking more towards the front and thinking more towards getting it done as quickly as we can,、um, instead of looking behind us and seeing who's behind us and being happy as long as we're not last. Although the mum shells struggled through most of the legs, these two lucky ladies have survived. They used their chance to yield Yanis and Alexandra in Yangzhou and had them eliminated. Lap hands? We had to. They were hot on our tail. It's do or die. We didn't want to play the game that way, but it's a quite good strategy because you're getting rid of、uh, the strong team.、Yeah. It's normal. Maybe if、uh, we had to do it, we'd do the same.、Yeah. You never know. Talking about luck, the cricket fanatics are no doubt the fortunate ones. They were almost certain to be last in the Beijing leg until their competitors Bonnie and Mel lost their way to the pit stop. What if we go home? What if we don't go home? I mean, can we take any more of this? You know, it was、uh, it was getting more difficult. It was you know it was、yeah. getting harder. The challenges were harder.、Um, they were getting longer and longer. And in fact, we were not that uh, uh, 
disappointed when we thought that we are going to eliminate yeah. and we were more emotional than uh, we saw them that they are going out such back to back competition also happened with the must